isn't it a curious thing that the scriptures talk about reconciliation with God? The word reconciliation, that, that coming back together again, suggests that we were once conciliated. Is that a word, doctor? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. If not, you just made it up. Yeah, yeah. Keep it running with I'm it. Wrong, right, 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 right. Right. At some point in time, we were at one, and we need to come back to that place right. where we are in a unity of thought and, and expression with, the, with, with God in heaven. There's real power in this teaching and in this very vocabulary that we're about restoring a relationship. And we lose our way a little bit and forget who he is and what that relationship is while we're here. But it doesn't have to be that way. We, we can reconcile with him. And that brings us to some of the basic doctrines of the gospel yeah. with the plan of salvation and the fall. Yeah, the sense that, that we were once as humanity, both, both in the premortal existence and then in the Garden of Eden, we were in a right relationship mm -hmm. with God. And then because of the fall, which happened to Adam and Eve, but also happens to each of us individually, I've certainly fallen many, 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 <laughs> many times, right? And so how do we get back? How do we reconnect with God? How do we restore a right relationship with God? That's what reconciliation is all about. That's what the gift of the atonement is all about. And one of the things I love about Jacob is this wasn't the first time he had talked about this. Uh, you know, again, he's, he's the leader of the people now. Nephi is gone. But he's been talking about this theme for a long time. If we go back to one of his earlier sermons in 2 Nephi chapter 10, verse 24, he, he said something very similar. He says, wherefore, my beloved brethren, reconcile yourselves to the will of God and not to the will of the devil and the flesh. And remember, after ye are reconciled unto God, that it's only in and through the grace of God that you're saved. Right. Wow. So, so connect yourself through God's grace that you can be reconnected with him. But, but, but it's also part of a choice. You, you, have to, you have to choose that you want that reconciliation. President Lund, what has that process been like for you throughout your life of really feeling at times that you, you've closed that gap, that you've drawn closer to God through reconciliation, through the atonement of Jesus Christ? Well, if I'm going to be really personal here, I'm going to have to admit that I'm one of those guys who, who uh, has a hard time finding that closure. Mm -hmm. You know, I make mistakes all the time that I punish myself over and... Yeah. And, and you know, we're worry about you know have have I done enough, and so the evidence of that reconciliation sometimes has to kind of be imposed upon me. You know, when you see that Heavenly Father is actually helping you and working through you, that suggests a conciliation that uh, that matters, doesn't mm -hmm. it? That, that even though you know we're not who we want to be, we're not who we were, and 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 Heavenly Father respects that and, and loves us for our efforts. Mm -hmm.